it is me life simmer and welcome back to the sims 2 all in one lp part three that rhymed um but welcome back everybody so in this part we are hopefully going to find a job i'm really hoping and praying that we find a job because we've been jobless now for three parts and we got a degree we went to university for a reason we need a job and it's been really difficult to find it so hopefully we'll be able to do so like even jason has a job as a bag man has he gotten promoted no he has not no he has not so let's go ahead uh, military no adventure no education no all right let's check the computer and hopefully they have one of our jobs on there journalism and culinary it's really not that hard i don't know why we still haven't found it education no and it's gonna rain no come on athletic nope criminal no as a bag man no <laughs> military no oh and we have yet to find our job i'm about to install some custom content i still wear that just oh all right let's go ahead and pay our bills for 178 simoleons um can these Sims go inside seriously? Oh, that's one thing I actually wanted to do is put the music on and test it out for this part to see if we get copyrighted. We might. She's like, why is it raining? I hate my life. It's raining. She's like, oh, just kidding. I actually love it. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm thinking today we might go ahead and go out since we can't find a job we might as well right uh let's go ahead and recycle a paper we're going on thursday without a job now thursday so let's go ahead and uh call a taxi and head out and avery oh avery he needs some new outfits seriously let's go ahead and i'm just gonna have thinking maybe just a man amanda to go and let's go to blue water village so we can maybe scout out uh you know some places we're gonna go to the jador bakery um blue water village as i previously stated and i think my sims 2 university lp um yeah we went to amelia's closet uh pretty much uh what um blue water village is is a shopping district that came with the sims 2 open for business which in case you don't know what that is which i'm sure most of you guys do because it's classic your sims can own a business and sell goodies why is that so loud let's turn it down just a bit and they can sell goodies and pretty much anything that their hearts desire they can sell and they don't have to use the stupid sims 3 savvy shopper rug and all that so it's just, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, guys, I will see you guys. Alrighty, guys, and here we are at Jadular Bakery. Here is the owner, Gilbert Jaquet, and he actually runs it. I'm pretty sure with his mother or his grandma, something like that. Um, but he's gonna come over here and greet us because we're looking around like, woo, what do we, what do we do? Okay, enough. Okay, I guess he's not gonna greet us. But here's his bakery. To me, this is not bakery quality. To me, this is just, it's not as cute as it could be. Anyways, um, game tips, whatever. Um, so let's go ahead and come over here. And I'm pretty sure we can ask him uh, about some of the, oh no, we can't. Hmm. Okay, so we are going to buy some stuff. Let's go ahead and buy a pie. And some cheesecake. Oh, they're so expensive. Yes, he has them on expensive and very expensive. So that's one thing that you can do. You know, you can mark sales. You can, you know, price things a little bit cheaper than usual. And then you can pay things or price things extremely overpriced, um, which apparently he's doing so but i want the cakes and the pies so <laughs> we're doing it all 
All right, and here's one of his workers, and here's Nina Caliente, which for those who are not familiar with The Sims 2, she's um, sisters with uh, Dina Caliente, and she's kind of Mortimer Goth's, I don't know what even to call her, Mortimer Goth's uh, hoochie, <laughs> I don't know, and this is her sister, Nina Caliente, Nina, Dina, and Cassandra all have a thing with Donald Thorno, there's just so many people you guys have to know and see, because they're such classics, and also, the reason um, Avery is with us is, when you call a taxi, they pick up everyone in the household, when you call transportation, they pick up who you want, and yeah, that's the difference, I just figured it out. Okay, so these two are hungry, so let's go ahead and go out and get some food to another lot. And we will stay in Blue Water Village, maybe, if there's a place downtown. I don't think there is, actually. I don't know, there should be, because you can buy, um, you can buy restaurants and run those, too, but there isn't. Oh, and here's Sue's Secret Kitchen. Ooh, let's actually, I don't know if Avery can come with us. I'm pretty sure he can. Sue's Secret Kitchen. If you love food and want to learn more about creating delectable delights, head over to Sue's Kitchen. Awesome. Let's do it. Members only, please. Oh, look, look, look. He's like saying like, oh, I can't go with you. He said that. He literally said that. He literally said, I can't come. <laughs> That's crazy. Is he saying, like, bye? Like, are we going to leave without him? Or I guess he's coming. But he literally said, like, he couldn't go. All right. Well, I'll see you guys welcome at Welcome to Sue's Kitchen. Oh, welcome to Sue's Secret Kitchen. Feel free to explore the kitchen, use our uh, appliances, or ask me for tips on cuisine. So, yeah, it's really awesome in here. You can make chocolates over here. They have, you know, food competitions and little kitchens that are effing adorable. We're going to use the pink one because, hello, why not? And we're going to come over here and serve some jambalaya. Actually, no, let's make a tomato basil soup, um, which is custom content food. As I said, I am addicted, and I think they are the cutest things ever. So chicken basil soup. All right, there we go. Go on. Avery's having some drinks, apparently. He's going to order a blended... The Sims 3 definitely does have more of a variety of, you know, drink options, but, you know, that's all right. All right. So here's some soup for everybody to eat, including Avery. So Avery, come over here and eat some soup. And, oh, my gosh. Charlene is, like, beating up this girl, Autumn. Oh, my gosh. Um, there's, like, a burglar here. Rust beer. Alrighty, and Amanda farted while she sat up. Cutie. And how about she comes over here and eats some more. Avery, you looked pretty hungry too, so go eat another bowl. Ooh, Avery has gained enthusiasm in cuisine. Awesome, Avery. Alrighty. Just gonna go to the body, the body room. And then we are going to actually come over here. It make food for the contest. We are going to make what's something we're good at making. Um, let's go ahead and make Rania's pineapple and coconut pie, which you guys guessed correct. Custom content. I want to let you guys know what's custom content and what's not, so you guys can really get like the full fledged, like you know what I mean, like what's I don't know what's custom content and what's not because. Um, Oh, we just pulled it out of the fridge. Because there really is a lot of awesome, awesome dishes that came with, um, that came with, um, the game itself. There are so many awesome dishes that just, I can't even tell you. So anyways, here we go. We are, oh, we can even, oh, we can even submit. That's what we're going to do. We're going to submit a uh, food that we purchased. <laughs> we just won't tell anybody. Avery, can you join it, or are you not allowed? Oh, he can. He's going to go over here and make some cereal and enter it. Oh, look. Oh, actually, just kidding. Everybody's taking your spot. <gasps> Baked Alaska, you bitch.
bitch. She's like, girl, I own this place. Oh, and <laughs> Russ brought some toaster pastries. I didn't know Russ was into cuisine. Look, even his plate is dirty. Ew, he's, come on, Russ. Even his plate is dirty. What the hell? Pranker. And some spaghetti. All right, anyways, let's go ahead. Look at Amanda, so scared that she's not going to get it. <laughs> let's go ahead and turn this around and see her reaction. Okay. Do you like it or, or not? Nah? Here's the baked Alaska. She's like, hmm, has a little bit of a zing to it. Mm-hmm. Here's Russ's. She's like, Russ, oh, are you serious? She's like, mmm, delectable. Oh, spaghetti sounds so good right now. She's like, classic. Ah. Uh, Waffing it and all. Please, come on. Who won, lady? We're over there with some freaking top-notch pies. And Alaska, whatever Alaska is, I don't know if it's a pie or a cake. <gasps> yes, we won! Congratulations, Amanda has won the food contest, along with 500 simoleons. We also placed a special prize in Amanda's inventory. What did we get? What did we get? First place food contest ribbon. Beads, all I ever wanted. Oh my gosh, they have everything here. They have freaking showers. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, and they also have nectar here. We might have to get a nectar station when we advance ourselves in our careers and we're sophisticated and then we officially drink nectar and we're fancy. Anyways, guys, so let's go ahead and shower up. And before we go home, I really would like to, uh, ooh, ask Charlene for some chocolate lessons. That would be kind of neat. Let's ask Charlene for some lessons on chocolate. Charlene. We can also ask her for hobby instruction, cuisine. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see um, if she'll uh, teach us a couple of things about it. Oh, okay. So she's, like, lecturing us pretty much. And what are you about to do? Oh, she's playing with, like, a... And a Rubik's Cube. That's pretty cool. Autumn. I She's cute. I like her, her uh, like, little chubby cheeks. Okay, yeah. Russ, you need to go home. Seriously. Mad creepy trying to hug this, like, little girl. And he followed her to the bathroom. Seriously? Oh, no. That's not the bathroom. That's the bar. This is probably his wife. Like, Russ, what are you doing here? Russ. Why are you hitting on this girl? Come home. The baby needs you. And he's like, leave me alone. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the stupid stuff I make up in my head. I swear. Okay. So she's very tired. So let's go ahead and just go home now and get some Z's. And then tomorrow morning, what we're going to go ahead and do is hopefully find a job. Probably not. But, uh, yeah, I think Avery's tired. He's sleeping on the couch like a little bitch. Get up, Avery. Stop making a fool. My friend's actually done that be to me before. We went Black Friday shopping, and she fell asleep on a bench. I said, what? What? Charlene! Charlene is, like, the owner of this place. Look at her. She's fighting with Autumn. What the hell? Charlene, you're making a really bad impression. We'll be back anyways, girls. We want to make some chocolate. Anyways, so, yeah, we're just, who wins the fight is what I'm curious about. Charlene, do not mess with Charlene, apparently. And Amanda's, like, on the floor smelling the flowers. So, yeah, guys, I will see you guys. Um, Avery, are you serious? Avery, butt ass, but, oh, my, he's in one of the kitchens. Oh, this is so unsanitary. Butt ass naked. Look, he's, like, scrubbing his shit right now. Oh, my God. Avery, stop. What if people walked in right now? What would they do? Now we know never to use this kitchen. Always the pink one. So, yeah, guys. 
Um, I will see you guys uh, in the morning. Okay, so good morning, everybody. And once again, I checked to see if there was any jobs, and there was fucking none. Ah! Avery is available to talk. He's also wearing rave gear. Like, he's ready to rave, but he's totally not. Anyways, um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I honestly, I want a baby. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I want a baby. And I know it might seem a little soon, but I just love babies. Um, but what I'm thinking is instead of actually, like, having a baby with Avery, even though he's over here like... Yes, have a baby with me. I'm going to come lay next to you. I'm thinking Don Lothorno. Yes, the town Casanova with Amanda. Why not? Amanda's getting up. She's like, yeah, you're right. I should. Uh, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to head to, uh, no, I don't, I don't want to see that. We're going to head to someplace in Pleasanton View and hopefully, just hopefully he shows up. Look at this little old man like getting it. To The Sims 1 music. All right, Pleasanton View. Let's head to uh, right here. This will work. Alrighty, guys. So I will see you guys then. And hopefully we run into Don Lothorno. Okie dokie, guys. And here we are. And look who effing came. Avery. And I found out why. Because he's still a part of our group. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot. So hopefully Don shows up. I don't think he's going to. I really wish he would. There's Darren Dreamer. Here's Goopy Gills Carbo. Who the hell is that? Oh, come on, Don. Chico Ramirez. Come on. I want Don Thorno. Town Casanova. Where is he? Come on, Don. Seriously. Come on. Come out. Wherever you are. I just, I just, <laughs> it's so bad that I want him to knock my sim up. It might be pretty bad, but I don't care. I want it to happen. I guess while we're here, we'll go ahead and buy some magazine and video games, right? We might as well while we're here. Uh, let's see. Dine out with the sim. Influence. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever. Fast forward. Done. <laughs> No, go buy a video game. Don't hold Avery's hand. Seriously. Go buy a video game. Let's see. We have My Sims, EA Sports, FIFA, Spore, Command and Con Conquer, Sims 4, City, oh, Sim City 4, Rush Hour. No, The Sims Busting Out. Yes. That was one of my all time favorite games ever. Still own it, actually. It's just, oh, oh makes me just, makes me so happy. Okay, so he's still not here. So what we're going to do is we're going to call the taxi and go to another community lot in Pleasanton View and just hope he shows up. Um, is that, That's not him. That's Jason Mignon. Go away, Jason. Seriously. Oh, he's a bag man. Does that mean like he's bagging stuff here? Maybe. Maybe this is Jason's job right here. This is Jason when he leaves. Everybody. Oh, Alrighty, wait, wait. and let's head to, um, right here, a local boutique for Pleasanton View locals. And look, the Good Witch is here. Uh, so yeah, guys, now we are going to head to, um, this boutique, and hopefully Don Lothorno's there. He probably won't be, but a girl can hope. Right? Look, the witch is like gleaming, like, yes, girl, get him. Oh, alrighty, guys, and here we are at the boutique. I seriously want to kill Don Lothorno. Look, everybody but him. There's Lilith Pleasant. There's uh, that Jacquet guy's mother. Ooh, do you guys hear that thunder? Ooh. Where's Don? Dina Caliente. Dina. Dina. Let's go greet her. Let's get to know the locals because I do love them. Now we wait for Don. Oh, I just want to kill him. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and um, chat up with her. Block Avery's way. She's such a cute sim. I effing love Dina. And Nina, I love them both. We're going to be like, you are cute, girl. Love you. We're going to do kiss, kiss, darling, jesters. Who's this? 
Cameron. Florence Della Rosa. She is a open for business uh, sim. She came in Blue Water Village and she owns a flower shop. Um, let's see. I'm going to. I want. I want a friend like Dina and Nina. They're like little. I don't know. They're not necessarily little ho hos, but I love them because they're per promiscuous and I don't know. I just love them. All right. So. I'm going to admire her again and tell her how awesome she is. Um, and then I'm going to brag a little bit. She might like a little bragging, even though we don't have much to brag about. She does not like bragging. <laughs> Let's go ahead and talk about games with her, maybe. And we'll admire her again, because I'm sure she loves that. We're going to bust a move. Practically, we're about to practically break our legs for her, by the way. Just watch. <gasps> She's leaving. Ah, oh, Dina, no. I love Dina. Uh, how about we come over here and meet uh, Lilith Pleasant as well? Even though she's a teenager, we'll still come over here and meet her. Um, let's see. We are 22% with her. I really want to be better friends than that, Dina. Dina, please. <laughs> She's in relations with Don Lothorno, so maybe if we get really close with Dina, she'll invite over Don. Avery, stop following us. I get it. We're in a group, but that does not mean you need to follow every move I make. Seriously. We're going to tell her about our travels, and she's really negative. Okay, never mind. Whatever, bitch. We won't bother with you. My bad. Sorry for trying to be nice. Seriously. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what, Avery? Go ahead and buy an outfit, buddy, because you are looking really fugly. The raver attire has to go. You don't got the face for it. I am sorry, but you don't. So let's go ahead and give him a new outfit. And here's, you know, some of the men attire. Ugh, he just, I just feel like he can't pull any of these off. <laughs> it's that bad. But that's what we're going to do. That outfit right there. Then he's going to go over there and plan his everyday outfit. We're also about to do some woohoo, and I will show you guys how. He's going to go ahead and try on some everyday attire. And Amanda's going to come in here. Alrighty, he's going to go try on a new pair of pants. Alright, and Amanda's going to go in there and woohoo with him. Like, nobody's going to notice this, please. Look, the whole store ran over like, yes, get it. And this girl's like, you guys are nasty. Even the workers are cheering for them. Aw, good times. Good times. Oh, throwback, throwback. For those who watched uh, my original Sims 2 LP, here's Malcolm. He was like the baby daddy. He was like the person that my Sims, well, my Sim married because he was rich. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's see. And look, now they have this memory of did woohoo. Oh, did public woohoo with Avery. Jan Tellerman. I don't know who you are. Um, yeah, I'm guessing Don's not going to come out because apparently he hates me and he doesn't want a thing with us. Mm, I'm sad. Okay, well, I, I guess I guess that's that. I wish I just knew him. We know so many Sims, but how do we not know Don Lothorno? Mind blowing. Literally mind blown. I think what I'm going to do is off camera. We are going, well, I'm going to um, have um, play Don for a little bit. And maybe Nina or Dina get to know, have them get to know Amanda a little bit more. And then, you know, invite Amanda and Dawn over at the same time. So then they kind of just have a, you know, acquaintance of each other. They know who each other are. So then in the next part, we can hook up with him um, and try for a baby. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead and head home, guys. Or actually, you know what? Really, really quickly, once we get home, if we still have time in this part, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do uh, really quickly. 
Alrighty, so you'll Alrighty, see you guys. Back. And I went ahead and placed John Lathorno right here, right next to us. So we're gonna go ahead and go introduce ourselves to Don while Avery sleeps. Also, if you guys hear thunder and lightning in the background, it is thundering and lightning. So yes, you will most likely hear that. So I do apologize for that, but we are gonna go over there to Don's before my power goes out. So I really feel like it is gonna go out. And look, he just walked into his house like he's ready. We're gonna go introduce ourselves in pajamas. <laughs> and here is Don Lathorno, the Casanova, the player, the woo hootie master of Pleasanton View. In all the little districts around them. Oh, she's hitting it off with him too. She's attracted. Oh, she's so attracted to him. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, hit it up with them. Let's see. We are going to just continue to flirt with him. Okay, no more chatting, seriously. Oh, he's liking it. And she's like, oh, he's so hot. He's, of course, going to want it. It's Don Lathorno. We're going to ask him, do you like what you see? Oh, he says, oh, yes, I do. We're going to continue to charm him a little bit. And uh, we're going to ask him, what turns you on? Poor Avery doesn't even know. Does even know. It's up oh, gray hair. It's a little weird. Milfs, maybe? I don't know. Look, they're hitting it off so quickly. It's crazy. <laughs> Suggestion. She's like, John, I think maybe me and you should get to know each other a little bit better. Oh, and by the way, he is totally engaged to uh, Cassandra Goth, but whatever. We'll mess her life up if we want him. Alrighty, let's see what else we can do. We're giving him a back rub right now. We're gonna give him another suggestion. Can't even speak. <laughs> um, charm him a little bit. Oh, we're hungry, but hungry for some zik. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that was so bad. Um, but um, let's see. We keep getting the option to give him a back rub. Ooh, let's slow dance. Ooh. Okay, that's awkward. He said, nope. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and sweet talk him and hopefully give him a kiss. The thunder is crazy right now. Oh my gosh, Don, come on. Chat with him. Come, Don, do not walk away from me. Do not walk away from me, Don. Come on, Don. Don't be a jerk, Don. You want us? I know you do. Sweet talk him. See if he likes that. Okay, yeah, he still does not like it. He does love being charmed, though. Oh, they have crushes on each other. Oh! She's like, yeah, I want to touch him. Okay, he still does not like that. Don, seriously, knock it off. Can we? <gasps> no! No! Go knock on his door right now, Amanda! We're in the middle of freaking getting with Don Lathorno. Oh, and now he's asleep. Now he's asleep. Oh, and look who's not asleep. Hi, Avery. Yeah, I totally forgot about you, buddy. Just kidding. I knew you were there, and I was totally cheating on you. Michelle Tiz. Maybe he should... Okay, why is he, like, friends with, like, a high schooler? This girl is a high schooler. He has a lot of friends, actually. Hmm. Little did I know. I think they're all people who live here in the uh, apartment complex. Um. So, yeah. Amanda is going to eat and uh, go to bed, guys. And then in the morning, we're going to see if uh, Don still wants to hang out. And hopefully I don't die because this thunder is so loud. I might have to end this sooner than I thought. Because <laughs> I feel like my game or my computer is about to crash. 
because the power is going to go out. But yeah, I will see you guys in the morning, guys. And uh, we're going to go ahead and have some breakfast. And I mean, we're heading right over, right over to Don's house. I don't think he's home. Oh, uh, Don is not home. Damn you, Don. Damn you. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we can at least get our jobs this morning. That'd be great. We can at least get our jobs. Gamer, look again. Oceanography, look again. No. Business, no. Military, no. Still no jobs. <sighs> I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. I'm about to literally download custom content that lets me pick my game. I mean my career. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I don't know if I'm going to be uploading another video today because it's, I mean, it's storming out and I will just lose my progress. You guys heard that. It's storming out. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do, guys, because Spam Saturday was not Spam Saturday, one, because I put together a desk and it took me forever, two, because it's about to storm like crazy, I will, um, I'll, okay, well, there's a few things I've been planning to upload for you guys, because I got a 3DS with a capture card in it, and I got my Elgato, oh my god, I'm sorry that this might be crazy at the end. And I also have the new LP coming, which will probably go up about Wednesday. Um, but I will go ahead and Monday, I will upload a few parts of Showtime and The Sims 2 for you guys. Uh, just because of the lack of videos today. I'm so sorry, everybody. Um, I know Spam Saturdays have been a little hectic lately. I've just been handling a lot in life. And, um, but yeah, I promise you guys because I love you guys, okay? I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.